Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you have understood what packet the JSON does in the last video. If not, just start that that from the starting from this series, watch all videos and then come back. It will be more simpler, right? In this video, what we are gonna do is we are gonna install some package and see where it is stored and how it is stored. Right? So this is my project right now empty, right? And uh, going forward, I want to use a package for making a stage API call, right? So let me create an index.js file. This is my entry file that is listed out here. If you see, right? Let me remove all of the things that were present and not required at this point of time, right? So in this index.js, I want to write a script where I want to make uh, an API call and I want a dependency for that. And we have already talked about that. One of the best dependency out present out there is Axios that I at least currently use for my personal project, right? Various company, big course would like to write their own uh, HTTP client that make API call or other things or use this as well, right? Uh, so what we do is you will find this command in all of the NPM packages, right? You just copy it, simple, go to your, uh, directory where the project is present and just paste it out there. Just see the folder structure out here, how it get changes. So you start, you know, uploading field as soon as, as soon as it completes, you see there is a new folder known as node module was added and there are a lot of folder that has created here right now, just by one command. Now let's understand what it does, right? Now, before understanding moving that we will do npm view axios right so this will show what that packet packet does when you do install we have already seen it before but let's reiterate over it there will be a url that will be present uh, in this particular uh, view file view when the npm gives us and this will give us a tgj tgz tars file this is a tarball file which will be brought it uh, brought by the node package manager and it will be unzipped in our node modules folder so node module folders is a folder that will contain all the code of this library that will be installed that will be added in your npm package and package.json via npm right one more thing to notice uh, there was one more file that is this packet uh, log.json that was added right and we'll talk about this uh, later in this series which is very important file just keep an eye but we have already talked about package.json and let's continue with that so this downloads of uh, folder so let's go ahead in the browser and download it uh, so i have already downloaded it somewhere and let me quickly find out that yep i have already downloaded it uh, this star file and I, I what I'll do is I will I will just unzip this file out here I will just paste the path where it was downloaded that was downloaded in my downloads folder I just copy the path and it is pasted out here let me go ahead and run the command for untarring or unzipping it basically uh, here that will be tar uh, minus x v z f this is basically a command to unzip that file it brings the tar file and i'll do a dot in this current directory okay in this current directory just untar it so once it does it gives us a package folder just see this package folder that was brought from this particular url that I that I just showed you, right? It brings a package. Now let's understand. When you install via npm i, you get a folder out here in node modules. I separately downloaded that file, that Axios package, and this was, you know, when when you did untar or unzip here, downloading it manually, what it gives? It gives a package. And if you open this lib and open this this file. Right, you'll, you'll find various of the various of the 
uh, files present out here, right? And this was manually downloaded folder, right? Right now, you can see this. This is package. This is manually downloaded. Let's go and see node module folder that was added when you did npm i axios, right? That is present out here. So it installed various folders. Why is that? This is because when you install axios, axios is also dependent upon other packages, right? It depends upon other packages for some utility. So these are known as peer dependency of axios. It also depends on other packages. So for axios to work, it should also bring it dependency, right? So this, whatever you see, apart from this axios folder, it dependency of axios, right? If I open axios, you see the same folder structure that is present in this particular package out here. Same folder structure. This was downloaded from npm and this was downloaded from this manually from that particular view link, right? Let me delete this particular one, right? Package one. So downloading both ways bring the same files and same folder structure and gives us the same package. But it's recommended to do it, you know, uh npm via npm it it brings the uh integrity it gives the integrity and make sure that it's right package is coming to the project structure i hope you have understood now if you see this this all contains the code that 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 allow us to use axios right we generally don't modify any of the code in node modules further we generally keep it you know out there don't upload it even to github because we recommend that we'll push the package.json file and allow our user allow user user of the project to manually go ahead and pm type npm i which will go to this package.json folder and see what dependency it has and it all auto install it everything right one more thing to note here that now dependency section is came by itself and it has axios with a version there, right? We talked about it earlier with a version there. If I add one more package, one more package will be added here, right? Via NPM if I do this recommended way, right? So I hope you've understood how node module folder works. It, it contains all the code of the library. Generally, we don't push it to the GitHub. It is expected like you will we'll push this package.json file and users or, you know, consumer of the project will do NPMI to install package from package.json. This package log.json file is very, very important file. We are going to talk about that later in this series. Just for now, just understand this is, you know, kind of you can find all the URLs, all the things that is present in this node modules. And we'll talk about that as well in the later video. For, for now, just understand how npm i works, what happens when you do npm i your package and how you can use it. For example, right. So this is a file where I am going to use Axios, right? So I can import directly now Axios from Axios and this goes to this node modules and bring the code there, right? So I can go here and do Axios dot get post whatever things Axios provide without doing anything, right? Just installing this package and consuming the uh, things that Axios gives us, right? So you can make an API call, you can do anything, whatever you like out there, right? So this was that's it for this video. I hope you have understood what NPM I does, how node module folder works, what package JSON does. With that, thanks for watching this video and please stay tuned for the next videos. Till then, just keep hit that subscribe button and I hope you are liking this video. If so, just give some thumbs up to this video. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care and thank you. Goodbye.